bring some fresh color into our home, shall we, Sid? Let's do that, Let's Dina. Let's do it. Right now, we're going to do it with award-winning designer Sarah Richardson. She is sharing her best tips in this gorgeous book. It's called Collected, Color, and Neutral. And she's here to share some pro tips in her beautiful yellow blazer. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Good morning, guys. I'm great. How are you? Uh, we're just debating during the break about the Chaise Lounge. All right, here's the deal. Because, Sarah, I've been watching you for years. Congratulations on the book. This is the first <laughs> time we get to talk. I got a chaise in my bedroom. Yeah. Now, it's, it looks comfortable, but just the functionality of our home, we don't use it as much. Right. What would you That's... suggest I do with the chaise, considering I'm not technically paying for your advice, but I want it live on national TV right now? <laughs> to chaise or not to chaise? That is the okay. question. Stop it. Stop. Where to chaise is all about the placement. So what's most important to me right now is people feeling happy in their homes and feeling comfortable in their homes. And Sid, the reason you're not using your chaise in your bedroom is because you already have a bed in your bedroom. So I want you oh. to try take that chaise and move it to a different room. So you come home at the end of the day and you're like, I just want to chill out. You can move that chaise to your living room and maybe it'll get used more. Sh Sorry, so I've been saying it wrong for like 10 <laughs> it's years. It's a chaise? It's a chaise? We've been saying chaise. chaise. Okay. It's okay. not a, it's not a, it's a chaise. It's, it comes from the French chaise longue. Chaise. That's why I don't know oh, what to do It's essentially a long chair. Okay. But, but people call it a chaise. But here's the thing, chaise. sir. So you're, you're showing us the chaise here. Yeah. And see, so what about like a bay window? Because I had that in front of a bay window Beautiful. in the living room. Yeah. Never used it. Same problem as this. That's because you're just too busy, Dina. You're oh. working out. Okay. You're being okay. awesome. Okay. You're working. She runs like five companies. I'm cleaning. Sarah, like yeah. she's too busy. Do you, do you love shows. to vacuum too? I do. I love my vacuum. Lover? I vacuum morning, noon, and night. You and I should talk. I, know. I just run my Roomba. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, tell us talk artwork here. What's what's the best uh, artwork suggestion you got for any room? Like, what's the most important thing when you? Because you look at a ton of art. I've, I've seen you on TV for years. Yeah. You put a lot of thought into it. Obviously, this is what you do. What's the most important so, thing when you look at art? Uh, if, uh, First and foremost, rule number one, buy what you love, buy what makes you happy. Mm. If you look at it and it fills your soul with happiness, which is something we all need right now, that's the reason to buy it. So in my own home, um, I'm, not, I'm not really drawn to confrontational, challenging, dramatic art. Same. I like great colors. I mean, you know, exhibit A. Um, so I think you should definitely buy what makes you happy regardless of the price point. For me, it's never about price point. It's about the color palette and how it makes me feel. And one of the tricks I have is I tend to, people say you should never, an art consultant will say you shouldn't match your art to your decor. Mm. I think you should do it the other way around. I believe art should be the jumping off point, the inspiration, um, and decision number one in a room. It should never be an afterthought. It should be something that you have and you say, I want to celebrate this beautiful piece, and then I want to draw all the colors out of it. So okay. I have shared a couple of slides with you guys that show different ways that you can do that. You can extract a single color or a combination of colors here. My clients had a collection of uh, antique uh, wallpaper plates. So these were designed. Yeah, that's, isn't that super oh comfy? That's God. from EQ3. That's so inviting, the whole thing, all of it. Okay, so Sarah, what about extracted. a small Yeah, what about a small space? There's no space that's too small. You can add a little bit of beauty, a pop of color to any size space. Any size space, even the tiniest space. So an entry space, let's say you have the teeniest, tiniest vestibule, don't leave it just plain. This is a place to experiment and have fun with color. So think about the tiniest spaces in your home. The powder room, maybe it's a home office, your entry. This is a great place to think about using wallpaper because right now, instead of using wallpaper just on a feature wall, at some point, you know, 10 years ago, people like to think about a feature wall. Instead, wrap that whole space in wallpaper. Do it in a small pace, a small space for high impact, and it really creates wow factor. And I think it makes you smile when you come in the door. That's beautiful. Now, what if you have that non-functioning window area? Like, what do you do there? The non-functioning window yeah. area. Well, well, I think it's always important. I mean, the key about any window is you want the light to stream in. You want it to flow in. You want it to illuminate the space. And I think I always want it. I mean, I like the idea of being able to cozy up. So I have, I've got a slide here for you. I have clients who had a kitchen with a bay window that yes. was just kind of 
um, not contributing to the room. And instead, we made it the ultimate bistro. Tucked in a little table, added some soft pillows. And now what I love, I, I love a banquet. And we don't get to go to restaurants anymore. Mm -hmm. So if you have the opportunity, create your own banquet at home. Because it is, it's that kind of soothing, comforting, welcoming right. space where you can just, you know, sit and have a glass of wine at the end of the day. This, this, the placement of this one allows you to have a sight line to the chef who's making a gourmet meal, or you can also add some comfortable chairs. So the Same. thing about being happy at home right now is also about being comfortable. Surround yourself with color that makes you happy, softness, texture, anything you can do to make your home experience happy and Clever. joyful. You can eat your soft tacos there, Sid. Your hard ta on, tacos. On my chaise. <laughs> on your chaise. Uh, on your chaise. Maybe a, don't eat the tacos on the chaise. Yeah, my wife no. won't like that at all. A, a, a stylistic legend in this country, Sarah Richardson. The she new is. book, Color and Neutral, uh, available. Pick it up. Sarah, all the best. Take care. Thank you. Good to see you, Thanks, Sarah. guys. Nice to see you. You too, hon. See? Our, we learn. I, learned, I, I, I always learn, especially learn. from Sarah. That's fantastic. Uh, we're going to take a break. I, it's story time after the break involving myself, some beers, Portugal, okay. and a Russian Hockey Hall of Famer. Mm. That story's next. That's Hooked a tease. On that tease. <laughs>